So what we will be doing today is making another observation of our caterpillars. So let's share screen. When you go to your assignment today, you will see the directions that we are going to go over. The main thing we want to review today is how to make a good observation. Now you think, well, I already observed my caterpillar, but why might I as a scientist want to observe my caterpillar again? What do you think, Elena? Yeah, we want to see what's happened. We want to see growth and change. That whole point of life cycles, investigating life cycles, we talked about a beginning and an end and then a continuation and how it keeps going. Well, that's what we're learning about. That's what we're exploring. The life cycle of a... All right, caterpillar. So here's what we have to remember. When we make our observation, we want to put the date so that we can see how long has it taken for it to make this change. Include your drawing, your labels. We're going to write a paragraph about our observation, including adjectives or descriptive words so our reader can visualize what we are seeing. Tell what it looks like, the size, shape, color. You might include texture, if you can see texture. And then anything that is happening with the caterpillar. I know we've seen a lot of um, action and then we've seen a lot of sleeping caterpillars. So <laughs> they're just resting. We're not sure what they're doing. So that will be up to you and the caterpillar at the time. Use correct capitalization and punctuation so we can read it, right? We wanna be able to communicate what we're seeing. All right, so this is in your Google classroom assignment and I will keep this up for the kiddos here. So I also have an image for you guys to look at. At home, you will have an image. You can make it bigger by magnifying and you can zoom in just like we have magnifying glasses. You can use the magnifying glass. Mrs. Harrison showed you that too for EL. But I am going to use my document camera. I want to share a live caterpillar with you today and share what we wrote last time and see what has changed. What has changed in the, so it's the 22nd, it's been two days. Last time we looked at the caterpillar, here's what we had. We had the date, we had our drawing, we had all of our labels. This is what I wrote. My caterpillar is about one centimeter long. It is as black as night. Spiky little hairs cover its body. It is wiggling all over the place. It seems to like the top of the cup. So now today I'm going to look at this same caterpillar two days later. And here it is. And Lyric is letting me use hers. Yeah. Okay, we got to go here. And that's the top bird's eye view. I'm gonna turn it to the side because you should notice that there has been a change. Kids at home, write the change in the chat box or raise your hand if you can tell me what you notice that is a little different today with our caterpillar than on, I wanna say Monday, right? Monday. Do you see any hands, Mrs. Harrison? I see someone chatting. Oh, Lila, Jensen, Logan, Gavin, Clara, all of you. Oh, Jensen, you're right. So they all said it's what? Much what? It's much bigger. I would say it has doubled in size. This caterpillar has doubled in size. I like also Jensen, and there's more poop. You're right. It has been busy eating. It has been busy eating and therefore it has had to go to the bathroom as well. Now, I don't know if you can see it and I really wanna get this up here for you guys because I don't know if the picture, gosh, it's so hard to do this. 
If you look closely, and you'll have to zoom in on your photo, kids at home, and my kids, you'll need to use your magnifying glasses. This caterpillar has something in its cage that's very hard to see. Any ideas on what I'm talking about? What do you think, Cooper? It's silk. It looks like a web, right? So caterpillars can spin silk just like a spider. So you will see some silk webbing inside this cup. So now, when I make my good observation, I have to put the date, just like we said, I'm gonna write September. And Nixon, why am I capitalizing September? Do you know? Nixon? <laughs> Why do you think, Nixon? Because it's a what? It's a September's not a day of the week, but a um, month of the year. Even though days of the week, we would capitalize. So now I already have mentioned what it looks like, but I want to talk about what has changed. So I'm going to say right away, my cat, er, can I have your attention, girls? I need you three to separate right away. Up here, please. Thank you. My caterpillar has doubled in size. Okay, he is so much bigger. I'm gonna put an exclamation mark because I'm so surprised. He looks thicker too. He looks longer and thicker. The body looks thicker. Yeah, I could guess that. What am I going to put at the end of my sentence, bird? Period. Period, right? So I know my thought is over. I'm going to reread, make sure this makes sense. Do I have a capital? Do I have ex, uh, punctuation at the end of my sentences? No. My caterpillar, there's my subject, has doubled in size. Is that a well-written, complete thought? Yeah. Yep, I've got a capital. I have an exclamation point at the end. And I have a subject. What's my subject? Everybody. My caterpillar. What's the predicate? What has the caterpillar done? Has doubled in size. Now, he looks longer and thicker. Who's the subject? Angelique, what's the subject? He, right? That's the caterpillar we're talking about. And what about him? What's the predicate? looks longer and thicker. And I also have my describing words, longer, thicker, so you can visualize this. Now, if I look at him, I can't quite tell exactly how long he is, but I want to say he was so tiny. I'm going to say he just doubled. I think that will be okay because we'll know from the first observation. I don't know if he's actually two centimeters, Mrs. Harrison, do you think? Maybe. I could say. Not quite an inch yet. I'm going to use the word about. He is about two centimeters long. Maybe not exactly. He is about two centimeters long. I just really want to get good data so that when I see this change happen, I can look back and see how quickly it happens, right? All right, the next thing that is different, I wanna go back to what Jensen said, there's a lot of scat, and it's all sticking to the side of the cup. So I'm gonna write there is a lot of scat. And remember, scat is that scientific word for that. So there's a lot of scat, sticking to the side of the cup. I wonder why it does that. Do you guys think it's stuck in the web? There's a lot of scat sticking to the side of the cup, period. And maybe I could say, I think that's because he has eaten so much. Don't you think? I think that is because 
And if you're not sure about your spelling, please get out your quick word. And that will help you with your spelling. If you don't have a quick word at home, I'm thinking you could use dictionary.com to help you with your spelling as well. I think that is because he has eaten so much. All right, there is a lot of scat sticking to the side of the cup. I think that is because he has eaten so much. And I definitely need to mention the webbing, right? I see a web made out of silk. And it's kind of, I'm gonna say it's kind of on the sides of the cup. Well, it's all over. When I look around it, it's kind of, it's on the side. Can you guys see it? It's real hard to see. I think you're gonna have to look at the image and then expand it. It's hard to see. I see a web made out of silk throughout the cup because I see it all around. Now, not everybody's has that. So yours might not have that and that's okay. Now, I'm gonna reread. I'm not taking questions right now, let's wait. My caterpillar is doubled in size. He looks longer and thicker. He is about two centimeters long. There is a lot of scat sticking to the side of the cup. I think that is because he has eaten so much. I see a web made out of silk throughout the cup. Now, there is one other thing I wanna include in my observation. In my last observation, I said that he seems to like the top of the cup. Guess where he is again? If you look carefully, he's at the top of the cup. So I'm gonna mention that. He is still hanging out. At the top of the cup. All right, so that's a lot more writing today, but that's because a lot has happened. Now I did, I chose to do my writing first. You can do that or cause I was just excited about all the changes. You can do the writing first or you can do the drawing. Now I'm gonna do my drawing. And again, it doesn't matter the order, but it's my picture is gonna be a little different because now I've gotta put all this extra scat all around my cup. And then I've got to draw like a web. See how that's, this is what I kind of see. It's real light, but I see this kind of web stuff. And then I'm going to put my caterpillar kind of at the top. He's much larger. And I still will do those black hairy spikes. Some of you might notice there's black little pieces in the cup. That's because it's kind of ex shedding its skin, its outer layers. I want to say exfoliating. <laughs> you could call it that. So now what am I missing, Leo? What am I missing from my drawing that we know we need to have? Can you remember? Can you unmute and tell me? What do I need to add to my drawing? Look back at this one. What did I add? Labels, right. So I got to go back and label my drawing. We should all be spelling caterpillar correctly. Scat, or you can put poop if you want. Here's the food. Or you could write ground thistle. And then we have the web or silk. Okay, I have told my kids here, and I want you guys to know you can add color, but if you do, it needs to be accurate. Like some people said, can I make my cup blue? Can I add some red? That's not what scientists do. 
They want it to be accurate. It's not an art project, right? We're looking for correct colors. So I would do my best to find kind of like a tan sand color to do the food with. I can't just say I'm gonna make this purple because I like purple. It would not be scientifically correct. Now, when you're in art class with Mrs. Monroe, I'm sure that's a different story. But as scientists, we're gonna be accurate with our colors. So unfortunately, I don't get to use a lot of colors, right, Abby? Right. Because there's not much to it but you can add a little. All right, let's go back and see if I did everything I was supposed to. Are you guys ready to help me? Give me a thumbs up at home if I followed how to make a good observation. Did I date my observation? Yes. Did I include a drawing of my observation? Yes. Did I label? Yes. yes, with the help of Leo. Thank you, Leo. Did I write a paragraph? Did I include describing words? Yes, I said longer, thicker. I even said two centimeters and doubled. Uh, did I tell what it looked like? I didn't, I described the size more. I didn't really talk as much about uh, the color of the caterpillar because I've already done that and it hasn't changed, right? So I talked more about the web and all of that. Tell what is happening. Yeah, I said he's still hanging out at the top of the cup, right? And correct capitalization and punctuation? You think so? We can double check. Capitals at the beginning. We went back. Capital I, please don't do the letter, the word I, unless it's capitalized. That will drive us crazy. We like those capital I's. You're important, right? So when you say I, we want it to be capitalized. You're a proper noun. All right, this is going to be done in your science and social studies spiral. When you're finished at home, you will upload a picture of it to this assignment. You guys will, we will see yours here in class. Any questions about this part of the assignment? And then I have one more thing to go over with you before I let you get to work. Any questions at home or in person? Looks like everybody knows what to do here. I don't see anything in the chat. Isabella, are you good? You got your thumb up? All right, Haley looks like she knows what to do. All right, here's what else I wanna show you. Today in this assignment, you also have a chance, and this is for my kiddos here too, because mine have not done this yet. Mrs. Fine. Harrison, some of you, her class has already done this. You are gonna get a chance to pick out new books for library checkout if you're doing that at this time. I know not everybody is, but you click on that link and here you have the digital card catalog where you can find the books. You have to click at the top and it will give you Destiny Discovery, I believe it is, so you can look for the different books you're interested in. I know Serene was asking about snake books today. So she would type in snakes up here and she can see what kind of books are available. I noticed last time we did this, what was tricky, a lot of them were um, eBooks, which means you have to read them online. So just remember, if it does not have a call number, which you're gonna need for your form, then you can't, you can't check it out. It has to have a call number. So lucky for you, Serene, there's a lot. But if you look at this book that says Rattlesnakes, it has that E, it does not have a call number. Can you check that out? No. Unfortunately not. And also it's out, very good. So you wanna look to see if it's in or out. Like for this one, Copperheads is out, but it, cause we have it here, right? But here's the call number. So it would be a book normally you could get, but uh, Serene already has this one. She's returning it though. 
All right, once you find the book you want, you're gonna have to know a few things because you have to fill out the form on your weekly book wish list. This is the form. Remember, you click at the top. So you might want paper and pencil. You're gonna have to type your first and last name, select your grade, third grade, your book title, the author, and that call number that I was talking about. Once you have that, you can hit submit, and then Miss Shannon will get those books ready for you. You can do more than one form. Um, I'm not sure how many, but I can't remember. Um, you said you can do multiple forms. You can do multiple forms. Yeah, one number form, and they, she said they put in two or three. Two or three. Okay, so I am curious if anyone has questions about anything we have to do today. Yeah. Whose hand? Ben. Ben, yes, unmute. Do we exactly have to get a book or, or do we not have to get one? You don't have to, but they are letting kids who are remote learning check them out. So they will put they will put them out Mondays for your parents to pick them up. So you'll have to probably talk to your mom to see if she's willing to do that. And Isabella can do that? Isabella? Okay. Um, it's not really a question. It's actually like a statement. Okay. Um, you can press Control C to copy and paste once you highlight, and then once you go to there to the form, you can press Alt V and it will copy and paste. Wow, that sounds wonderful. So if you're not sure what she's saying, I'll show you. When you go to the digital library and you find the book you want she's trying to make it easy for you let's say we want monsters new undies okay so she says let's see if it works for me if i press control cut what you have to do is kind of click and drag once you have it highlighted you have to click with your mouse or with your tickle pad and then you hit control, it's one of your keys, control C. Then I can go back to the form, that was the title. And if I click here and then hit control V for Velcro, it comes up. That's pretty cool. Then if I go back and I wanna do the call number, here's the call number, I highlight it, control C, go back to the form, Where's call number? Call number's here, control V, and there it is. Very awesome, hard to maneuver sometimes, but thank you, Isabella, for sharing. Any other questions? Marin, sure, any questions about the lesson? All right, guys, I'm gonna stop sharing. Your pictures are uploaded onto your, did you have a question, Jensen? Your pictures are on your assignments, so you can find them there.